So my YouTube channel hit 5 million subscribers, which is actually insane and crazy. And I don't even fully believe it myself, but it happened and it's awesome. And I can't thank you guys enough, but I thought let's do something kind of different. So I'm going to use my amazing artistic abilities, as you can see, to draw my life. The events that have led to where I am now. So you got it. Hello, everybody. I'm Kindly Kian, and this is Draw My Life with Kindly Kian. So now we need to go back in time, like a lot back in time, like 30 years or longer. I hate to admit it. I'm old, but this is one of my earliest memories of playing video games. I had a Nintendo, and I had one of those super old TVs that you have to, like, turn to channel 3 to make sure that the game works, and it's, like, super loud and staticky, and it makes weird noises. It might actually be melting your brain when you're playing those games. Doesn't matter. It was the funnest thing ever. I played Super Mario Bros. 3. That was my jam. I also have this memory of this game called Rescue Rangers. It was like a, it was the, you know, the Rescue Rangers. Chippendale? I don't know why that one sticks out in my head. And then of course Mega Man. But Mega Man? It's too hard. But fast forward a few years after that, the Super Nintendo came out. I think I was probably like six when that came out. And oh my goodness, Super Nintendo is like the epitome of gaming. Um, I, Super Mario World, right? Like that is the go-to game that I had on that console. But you also had Mario Kart. Uh, you had like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, there were just some unbelievably awesome games on that console. But the one game that sticks out to me and is still one of my favorite games is Mega Man X. Oh my gosh, I love Mega Man X. And I used to take the game manual. Yes, video games used to come with actual like paper manuals, little booklets that talked about the game and how to play it and showed the characters and stuff. And I would take the manual and I would try to like redraw the characters from the game. Now, clearly uh, I am not an artiste. Um, I still am really bad at drawing. Back then, I feel like I was better at drawing, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I just had a, a, a brain that wasn't quite capable of understanding how bad I was at drawing. Here, I am just trying to replicate my, you know, eight-year-old self drawing Mega Man X from the game manual, and obviously it's very bad. Actually, it's that was actually me trying at at 36 and failing miserably. But when I was around 10 years old, uh, I got super in to skateboarding. And uh, I, I still love skateboarding, but it was a huge part of my life. I was shredding. So watching skate videos and stuff, of course, I wanna make my own skate videos. So I got a camera and I started filming my friends doing tricks and they would film me doing tricks as well and we wanted to put together a skate video. I mean that was the thing that you do when you skateboard. You want to see those tricks. You want to see yourself accomplishing what you didn't think was possible before. So we would film all of our tricks and go all kinds of different places and it was so much fun and that's what we did. We would go to spots, we would skate, we would film it and then I would take that footage home and I had to figure out how to get it into my computer, how to edit it. I learned how to use Adobe Premiere when I was like 13 and it was so much fun. I loved doing it. And then I got really into the whole video production aspect of, of making these videos, editing them and learning how to do quote unquote special effects. And it was so much fun. But of course, part of that process was learning how to work with computers. And so I learned how to do computer stuff by necessity. I had to. I had to fix my own computer. I had to make it work. I had to figure out what components would work with this and what components would work with that. And so I got pretty good with working with computers. Look, see, it's me working on a computer that's on fire. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying there. But that is basically what happened. I, I just figured it out. I learned how to fix computers and I got really into computers because of the video editing and stuff that I was doing. So that became my job. After I finished school, 
I went and worked in IT and then I got a job with a big company as the IT guy. Hey, I'm the new IT guy. It's me, IT guy. And that was awesome. That was my job. That was what I was doing to make a living. And so for 10 years, actually 12 years, I did that. That was a 12 year career of me fixing computers, doing system administration stuff, fixing servers, setting up servers, setting up workstations, doing all kinds of computery stuff and doing my thing. And it was a good job and I really did enjoy doing it. Uh, but I did always think about those times that I had skateboarding and filming and editing and I didn't really have a creative outlet for myself to make stuff. I was doing my IT job. But then of course, YouTube. And I wasn't really into YouTube, but when I found it and started watching it, I was like, this is really, really cool. I love that you can just make stuff and put it up there. I could do that. I could do that. So I did. <laughs> I started making YouTube stuff. I basically tapped into that passion that I had for video production back when I was in my skateboarding days. So during the day, I'd do my IT job, you know? I was doing my thing, I was taking care of stuff, I was doing what I had to do to pay the bills, and uh, you know, it was, it was fine, it was totally cool. See, doing IT stuff, that's what you do during the day. But then, I'd come home at night and I would do YouTube. I'd record videos. I'd learn how to make certain types of edits, figuring out audio stuff. See, audio wasn't really a part of the whole skateboarding editing thing. So I had to learn how to do like, uh, you know, proper audio mixing and, and how to set up your microphones and stuff like that. And then plus the webcam and all that stuff. So, you know, I was figuring stuff out with YouTube. And uh, my wife, along the way, of course, was unbelievably supportive. She was awesome. You can do it, honey. That's that's her voice, obviously. Um, yeah, she was super cool about it. She's like, yeah, if this is something that you really want to do, go for it. So I did. <laughs> and uh, eventually, it kind of sort of worked um, for a long time. Probably the first six months, nothing was happening. But then Hello Neighbor came out. I played Hello Neighbor, and it blew up. In just two months, I went from 150 subs to 20,000 subs. That was crazy. And so, at that point, I was like, maybe I could actually do this? Like, really do this for a living? But I wasn't sure. You know, I had been doing IT for 12 years. That was my job. Uh, so I thought, you know, let's do the IT thing for a year and see what happens, and it worked out. I, the, a year later, I said, bye, big company. I'm not doing IT anymore. I'm playing video games on the internet. So that was almost six years ago. That's crazy to me. Uh, I left my job with about 300,000 subs, and now six years later, I have five million subs. <laughs> That's just unreal. And again, I'm so thankful for it. And throughout all that, my wife has been just unbelievably supportive and just super, super awesome. You know, she knew that I had to work hard to make this happen. So she made sacrifices and it was, it was great. And it all worked out in the end. And then we started a family and now we have Seth and Emmy and they're amazing and awesome. And it's been just a crazy ride. This is gonna be me attempting to draw a map of the United States. Um, you know, it's pretty bad, but at least you can kind of tell what it is. But this year, uh, we moved from California to Tennessee. So that was a pretty big change, but we're settling in and uh, we're enjoying it so far. It's been very nice. So maybe some of you are wondering what's next for me, for Kindly Kian. It honestly, I don't really know, but I'm having a great time doing it. You know, I'm making videos. I love making videos. I love that you guys love the videos that I make. And you know, I don't plan to stop anytime soon. So thank you guys for all of the support over the last six years, whether you're new or you're old here, um, I couldn't do this without all of you, and I really do appreciate it. It's an amazing job, and you guys are all amazing, so thank you.